Scratch has a lot of different features, so there's quite a lot of scratch hacks that make life so much easier. And in this video, I'll show you five of my favorites. The first hack is using the list feature to debug. I like to log the buggy parts of the code using the join block. That way I can get the code to log the data at that time and to be able to look at it after. This way I can fix bugs a million times faster. The second hack is using the say block to debug. I like to use this technique on clones so I can see what each clone certain variable is. I also like to add a little if touching mouse and key is pressed check. So it will only report the debug if vote if the mouse is touching the clone and a certain key is pressed, making the simple debug system that can be left in the final project. Some Scratch projects can get quite laggy, or might need things that Scratch can't support. For example, over 300 clones or a custom stage size. But using turboarp.org can solve so many of these problems. You can put in a project.sp3 and it will load, and you can work on the project in the editor, which is an improved scratch editor. It also runs projects so much faster, and in the settings panel, you can adjust settings like a custom stage size or allowing infinite clones. This website allows people to push the very limits of scratch. The next hack is using the days since 2000 block as an improved timer block. As it turns out, the days since 2000 block has quite a lot of decimal points, enough to get accurate seconds. All you need to do is multiply days since 2000 by 86,400, because each day has that many seconds, and you will be able to get the seconds since 2000. And by locking the start time in seconds since 2000 in a variable, and subtracting that from the current seconds since 2000, you can get the time elapsed. And this has the same or even more decimals than the timer block, with the extra benefit of not having to use the timer block, which there's only one of. The last hack is using Scratch add-ons. The extension is available on most browsers and can be downloaded by going to scratchaddons.com. This extension has over 160 add-ons, which can change basically every part of the Scratch website, from custom colors, a helpful search bar in the editor, to more buttons to make life on Scratch easier. There's tons of things you can do. So that's the top 5 Scratch hacks in my opinion. Did I miss any or do you have any other feedback? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.